Hungry? Here's something new with a slightly old-fashioned feel. A place you won't get lost in endless aisles, where you get to know the butcher, baker, and chef. Yes, a chef. This is Concord Market, the vision of a father-daughter team, Jim White and Elizabeth Akers moore I'm the real estate guy, and she's the one with the vision for the market and the food, and I think it's worked a great partnership. They built a brand new barn-like structure in Concord Center and added space for community events. We want to have book readings here, we want to have yoga classes up here, people have proposed, so having a common area for the public to come into is really our goal. The building we're sitting in was on an empty parking lot, and we've made this particular location, a new hub for the people of Concord and, and, and others who visit the town. The idea of a market and local gathering place has a general store vibe. Here, the edge is decidedly urban. We're not a big corporate entity. We actually meet with our producers. We actually go out to farmers markets and discover people and then talk with them. There's a lot of enthusiasm here for food and for retail that we're really bringing to the market. A market with a full-time kitchen appealed to chef Matt Malloy, whose resume includes high-end restaurants. Here, he feels at home because Concord is home. I was excited as a resident to have a market in town. Malloy has upped the ante of the take-home menu. There's certain things we have to have, right? You know, we're making chicken salad and meatloaf, but we're making duck confit, we're making our own sausages. We're trying to use a little bit more attention to detail, better ingredients as we would in a restaurant, only bring it to this sort of market setting. Bread, fresh baked, pastry, there's a chef for that too. Because we're small and we're still family owned and we all work together as a team, it is so much fun. And it's dangerous because you eat all the time, but it is just so creative and so much fun and we get to meet great people and taste wonderful products. You know, I've become very familiar with our craft beer selection, for example. We have some of the best, you know, as a resident, some of the best in the area. It's kind of a one-stop shop. You can come in and get dinner, grab a great craft beer or a bottle of wine, pick up some flowers for the wife on the way out, you know, uh, all in one stop. I'm hoping it becomes a destination. It's really its own unique thing in terms of its aesthetic and its programming and its product mix. It's a significant addition to a very historic town and uh, we're very proud of that.